Hey, we're the Ohio Guys on Location, and today we're at Colossal Con in Sandusky, Ohio, and we're joined by Lisa Ortiz. How are you doing today? I am doing all right. I'm loving it out over here in Ohio. It's been very, very cool, and uh, I'm actually happy to be here again. I was here once two years ago, and it's yep. just as fun. Very cool. Okay. What is it like working in the industry today? Uh, it is... It is very fun. <laughs> no, it's good. Uh, right now, I'm I work out of New York, so we have we started off with lots of anime that was going on. A lot of it has moved out to Los Angeles, and some of it is in Texas as well. So we still have stuff that we work on. We do a lot. Um, where where I am, obviously, we still do Pokemon. We still do a bunch of other stuff that's out there. But we've also gone in to do a lot more video games and like and like audiobooks. And there's a whole bunch of other stuff going on. So yeah. Uh, what's the favorite anime that you've worked on so far? If you can pick one. Everybody says it's like picking their favorite baby. Yeah, it is. When you have like a thousand babies. Let's see. Um, I love... Okay. Alright. I love Slayers for obvious reasons. Because she's absolutely out of control. Crazy. And just very fun. Lotus War was one of the first ones I worked on. And that was... Um, that has like a very special place in my heart. Because that's the first piece that I did. And like Deed that was very cool. And then... And I, yeah, and I feel like I'm going to be leaving like so many people out. <laughs> but um, actually, Shiori in um, Revolutionary Girl Utena was the first time I got to play this like really nice, like evil sort of girl. So she was she's a favorite for me as well. You already touched on it a little bit. What was it like working on Slayers? Okay, Slayers was awesome. <laughs> Um, so it was just one of the first things that I had come out and worked on, and um, I remember doing the audition for it and thinking, and thinking, oh my gosh, this character is so cool, I hope I get to play it, but there's no way that they're ever, you know, going to pick me for this. And meanwhile, here I am, having done it for so long, and then we came back with it like 10 years later, and that was super great. She's awesome because you can do comedy, you can do drama, she can get serious, and she's just kind of like off the wall wacky. And... Um, yeah, and also the cast is really, really fun. Like, we've become friends and stuff like that over time, so it's a very cool experience. That's good. Uh, if you could be any of the characters you've played in real life, who would it be? And you can mix and match if you want to. Okay. All right. Here you go. First of all, you have to have magic. Magic is very, very important. So I would have to say I would bring in some of Lena's powers, some of the things that she's there. I would want her ability to eat anything in the world and not gain weight because that's very, very important. Um, I had, uh, I would love to, as far as things, Azaline, who is one that I did a long time ago. She's got this great pink hair. She's from Irresponsible Captain Tyler. I would do, I would do that. I would want to have... Um, Sabrina from a season one like Pokemon thing I would want to have her psychic powers and I would also like to have a little psychic like Pokemon hanging around with me because that would be very cool these are good powers but um, there is a show also that I did called um, uh, Space Pirate Mito and in it she's there's she's very small and she gets into a big space suit I would not want to be the small version, but I would love to be sort of like a kick butt pirate. <laughs> so yes, so that is a uh, that sort of that's sort of where you get it. Kick butt pirate and magic powers. That's pretty much that's pretty much it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, is there anything coming out you can talk about right now, or anything that's recently come out that you want to plug? Uh, actually, yes. I've been doing a bunch of uh, video games, some for mobile phone stuff. So this is not it's not anime stuff. We just um, obviously Ashwat is still going on. I'm still working on Pokemon, but I just had um, released a show I worked on called Gangstar Vegas, which is for the iPad, iPhone, and you should definitely check it out. You can hear my voice in there. And a show called Dungeon Hunter that just came out where I get to play a big sort of like ogre, ogre kanashi kind of like warrior woman. So I like the big warrior woman kind of thing. So, so I would say check those out. What was it like working in theater? Theater is very fun. It's different because it's, it's, you get the people, you have people right there. It's very, you have a rehearsal process, which you don't get in anime, but um, it's live. People are right there, and uh, it's sort of, it's very cool. You can kind of really inhabit what you're doing. So I totally, I totally dig working on that and still do. Good. Uh, do you have any fan pages on Facebook, Twitter, or any other social medias where the fans can reach you? Yes, you do. You can reach me on Facebook. If you go, I have a Facebook page, Lisa Ortiz, on there. I also have uh, at LisaOrtiz.com. You can reach my uh, Facebook page on there, so you can do that. I am not Twittering as of yet, but um, 
Facebook me. You'll Don't find worry, me. I'm not it's either. Good. <laughs> yeah, I'm like I, you know, I have to, I have to be able to like not look at my phone for five minutes. It's very cool. Okay. Well, we were the Howa guys, and uh, we were at ColossalCon, and we were joined by Lisa, and I'm Mike, and we'll see you next time.